Hey, Paula and friends, this is Shelly from Atlanta, and I am so excited to be a part of the dessert challenge for the Philadelphia cream cheese. And I must say, number one, that dessert is one of my most favorite courses of any meal. I can have it for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, it doesn't matter. And we all know that cream cheese makes the best frosting. Thus, I would feature it in my coconut cream cheese whoopie pies. Oh my goodness. Whoopie pies are like this cookie cake with this cream filling and it's really delicious. It's from New England and it's just made its spread from New England all the way across the United States and it's like the new cupcake. It's the new craze and I am so excited to feature it in my kitchen and bring it to you. So typically the cream is usually made out of vegetable shortening, butter, powdered sugar, marshmallow fluff cream, a mix of that. But duh, why wouldn't we use cream cheese? Because we all know it makes the best icing ever. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Start off with vegetable shortening, and we're gonna add that into our mixer. I have a stand mixer which works wonders. I'm so glad I got it because before that I was mixing by hand, and honey, that took forever. But you can use a hand mixer, and you just wanna make sure that you blend everything well. And then we're gonna take two eggs. Now the cool thing about these eggs is that you want to make sure that you always break them in a bowl first before pouring them into your batter. Because trust me, I've had one or two times where I broke the eggs into the batter and got a little more than an egg. So always make sure that you break the eggs into a bowl and then pour it into your batter so that you know everything is safe. And lastly, for our cream, make sure we're gonna take some granulated sugar and brown sugar and just dump it all in there. Perfect. And just go ahead and the cool thing about these is you set it, you run it, and it does all the work for you. And up, there she goes. So while that's mixing, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take our dry mixture. And with our dry mixture, we're gonna add in flour, a little bit of baking powder, this is very important because we want these whoopie pies to rise. If you've ever seen a whoopie pie that has a little dome shape, adding that baking powder will help get that. Baking soda. Whoops. Salt. That doesn't want to come out the bowl. Salt. And, waha! This is our key ingredient over here as well. This is ground coconut. I took the dry coconut shreds that you could get at the, in the um, grocery store in a baker's aisle, and I put it in a high seed blender, but you could also use a food processor. And what it does is it reduces it down to this kind of fine crumb, as you see. And the cool thing about it is that as it grinds, it releases some of the oil, which gives it, A, more flavor, and also more moisture for our whoopie pie. So we're gonna add that into our dry mix. And I see here that the cream is almost done. And we're just going to mix that in, combine it until everything's combined. And last but not least, we're gonna use coconut milk. And so now we're gonna alternately add our dry ingredients and our coconut milk. And remember, if you don't have coconut milk, again, just take regular milk, add a coconut extract to it, and voila, you have coconut milk. So, <clears throat> a really, really interesting thing about this, oh, by the way, you do wanna start with your dry ingredient and end with your dry ingredient. A really, really interesting thing about this entire recipe is that um, I actually did not like coconut growing up. My family's from Jamaica and it was used in everything and I was just like, oh my goodness, I don't like the texture, the taste, I don't know what it was about it. But maybe about three years ago, I had this Thai dish from this Thai restaurant and oh my goodness, they used coconut milk in it and all of a sudden it was like my taste buds became awakened. And I realized there were so many uses for coconut. And real life, you could use it on your skin, you could use it on your hair, you could bake with it. There was coconut oil, coconut milk, coconut everything. So now it's one of those things that I just kind of can't live without. And naturally, when I have the opportunity to do this competition, cream cheese and coconut, are you kidding? Come on, perfect marriage. It's not quite a cake batter, it's not quite a cookie batter, somewhere in between, just like our whoopie pie. So you see how it's kind of thick, it doesn't really pour, and that's good because we want it that way. We want to be able to spoon it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a cookie sheet. And while this is non-stick, I always use my cookie sheets because you just never know. And who has time for a whoopie pie that's stuck to the pan? Not I. And 
so with this, I'm going to use an ice cream scoop. If you don't have an ice cream scoop, you can use a tablespoon. But you want to use something that's rounded in this way with this dome shape because the whoopie pies themselves have a flat bottom and a nice dome shape. So when you put them together with your cream, voila, a whoopie pie. It wouldn't be whoopie if it didn't have the dome shape. Now the interesting thing about them is that they are going to spread and they're going to rise. And so it's very important that when you put them on your cookie sheet that you don't put them all close together because then you won't get that nice pretty round spread. So you're going to have to probably bake them maybe two or three batches. This recipe makes 24 individual whoopies. I guess they're called whoopies, cookies, whatever we'll call them whoopies. And so that would make for 12 pies. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to bake it at 350 degrees for 10 minutes. How quick and cool is that? Set my timer here. Turn on the light. Because one of the cool things is that you get to watch them rise and turn into their shape. And I think it's so much fun. It's like the best science experiment ever. For our whoopie pie filling, we're going to use coconut oil cream cheese, and powdered sugar. Now, the interesting thing about using coconut oil is that think about it as sort of coconut-flavored butter. Instead of using butter or vegan margarine or vegetable shortening, we'll use coconut oil. And if you notice, the texture itself is already kind of thick. And so sometimes it can be a little hard. So I'm going to add this in first without the cream cheese and just cream that by itself and let it um, soften up a bit and then I'm going to add the cream cheese in in just a bit. And now we're going to add our cream cheese. Yum! The star of this icing. I cannot wait. Oh my goodness. So we're going to add that in and cream those two together. And get it nice and creamy. Once we get a nice cream texture, we're going to go ahead and add our powdered sugar. And so, with the powdered sugar, add a nice sweet touch. And it also helps thicken the mixture. Wow, and it is done. You guys, this looks so yummy. Now, one of the things about using coconut oil, like I said, it's an oil and it has a tendency to melt just like butter. And when you use the mixer, whether you're using a high speed mixer or a hand mixer, it does tend to add heat, which makes the oil a little softer. So when it's mixing with our cream cheese, as you notice, this icing is um, almost horrible. So what we're going to do is to firm it up a little bit because when we put it in our whoopie pies, we want it to be kind of like a, a thick cream. It's just going to go ahead and set this in the freezer for about 10 minutes. But before I stick it in, honey, oh my God, it looks so good. Oh, that is so good. You can taste the coconut and the cream cheese. Oh my God, it's so good. It's the perfect sweetness. Mwah. So now all of your work is done and here comes the best part like frosting the cupcake, frosting the cake, duh, frosting the whoopie pie. So it's really simple. First, you want to take one part of your whoopie pie, and this is your rounded dome I was telling you about. Turn it over in the flat side, and I'm using another ice cream scoop. And you see the texture consistency of my frosting? It's not too runny and not too thick, because what we want is we're going to take it and drop a nice fat dollop right in the middle, just like that. Mm. And then we'll take another one that's about the same size because unfortunately when you're baking, unless you have a perfect size cookie cutter, you know, you're going to get different kind of circles. And you simply just put the whoopie pie on top, spread it around, and voila. Look at that. Can you get a close-up of that? Look how pretty that is. You can take it and you can take a little bit of fresh coconut and just sprinkle that on top. And voila, you're done. <laughs> now I've been waiting for the best part, which is to try these. We already tried the icing and we know that tastes like heaven. So let's try the actual pie. Mm, look how pretty it is. Oh my goodness, I love it. See the filling, you have the nice whoopie cakes, cookies, whatever they are, pies. Mmm. Oh my God, that is so good. And coconut and cream cheese. Mmm. It really does like you want to say whoopee. Oh my goodness, it's so good. Listen, it's been so much fun. I really appreciate you tuning in. Cream cheese, coconut, whoopie pie, you can't go wrong. Thanks. I'll see you later. Mmm. 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 Oh my god, it's so good.